Welcome to Cricket Happenings, uh, dear friends and subscribers. Now it's the turn to preview Pakistan in the ICC Champions Trophy 2013. Now this uh, this time I think Pakistan, considering the conditions in England, uh, the way they put up their performance against South Africa today, uh, this team, according to me, has all the wherewithal to do it. But the only problem with Pakistan has been that air of unpredictability always hangs over their head. But I am sure the coach Dave Watmore would have definitely, definitely motivated the Pakistani boys. And I am sure Ms. Bawal Haq, the captain himself, would, have, would be pretty, pretty aware about that. And I am sure this time, uh, looking at the way things have been shaping up, uh, I think Pakistan are standing a good chance because they have bowlers who, who already have knowledge of bowling on these English conditions. Now take for example Junaid Khan. He already plays for an English county over there and uh, he's a pretty changed bowler. Let me tell you, he will move the ball at the same pace whether he's bowling an outswinger or an inswinger. So he has lots of variety. Uh, and then they have Mohamed Irfan, the tall bowler who will generate the bounce and he, he would be a sort of a, a tricky customer. Not only that, uh, and uh, you know, for many people who have not faced Mohammed Irfan, this would be the first time. So uh, that would be something uh, which would be good to see how the batsmen cope with him. Uh, and uh, also looking at Wahab Riyaz. Now Wahab Riyaz is another who has been uh, bred on English uh, county uh, scene. So he also, so they have good knowledge of the English conditions. So they know how to actually, uh, you know, utilize the ball uh, and swing it away. And then. Uh, of what one has seen of Asad Ali, he looks to be very pretty impressive. He has played probably, uh, he played in those, those matches against Netherlands and today against South Africa, uh, such a uh, great outfit, he bowls superbly. So Asad Ali is also looking good and he looks like ideally suited to these English uh, climbs. Uh, Hassan Adil is another bowler who was very economical today. So the bowling is looking pretty sharp according to me, but they are, they are definitely missing uh, the services of Umar Gul who is injured. Because Umar Gul, as you know, he plays, uh, you know, he plays a great role. So the, definitely the onus will be on Junaid Khan and Wahab Riyaz. Junaid Khan probably to give the breakthrough and Wahab Riyaz also. To, uh, Wahab Riyaz uh, tends to actually stray in direction at times. Now that is something that he really needs to get a control on. Uh, because uh, other than Junaid Khan, uh, Wahab Riyaz I don't, but Junaid Khan I think would be a key. Because he is the one who is going to provide the breakthrough. And he's a much improved baller, he, and, he, and he will swing the ball at that, in, uh, that, that, that good pace that he has. So that really makes it difficult for the batsman to sometimes, you know, to, to really judge the ball, whether to leave it or to... Then he really is a tough customer, let me tell you that. So he will play a key role, according to me. Uh, the batting, well, it looks uh, pretty strong. I mean, uh, Ms. Balak, the captain himself, is a good batsman who comes in the middle order. Then the opening will be... Uh, I'm sure Mohamed Afiz uh, would uh, open with Nasir Jamshed. And Nasir Jamshed is a very talented player of late. He has not been scoring much runs, but he's a pretty talented player. Mohamed Afiz, well, uh, he, I mean, of, of right now, he's one of those accomplished uh, batsmen from Pakistan now, Mohamed Afiz. Uh, and his strokes are really good to watch. Uh, and then they have the uh, likes of uh, Kamran Akmal. Uh, Shoaib Malik is there to lend the stability to the batting order. Uh, Umar Amin was impressive in his uh, brief knock today. Uh, he's another fine prospect. Uh, and uh, Kamran Akmal, well, uh, he is such a type of player who can, you know, uh, even if Pakistan need quick runs, uh, he can be definitely summoned to come and do the needful. Uh, and he has lots of strokes uh, with him. He, he really won't uh, really allow the bowler to dominate him. He really likes to dominate the bowler. Um, and Imran Farhat uh, is under open. So Imran Farhat. Whether Imran Farhat will open with uh, Mohamed Afiz, uh, what the combination would be, one does not know. Uh, probably to take advantage, I thought, I, I, I think Imran Farhat and Mohamed Afiz would be a good opening pair uh, to open the innings. So the batting looks uh, more or less organized, but the bowling also looks good. Now let's not forget Saeed Ajman, the world class off spinner who is in the team. Uh, yes, he got taken for runs against, uh, um, against I, I think it was uh, Kevin O'Brien, so it was... Uh, uh, Netherlands against Netherlands they got uh, lots of runs were not just Ireland sorry against Ireland he got a lot of runs he got a lot of tap he bowled 10 overs and he was taken for 77 runs but I'm sure uh, he's a much better bowler and he knows uh, what to do uh, and I'm sure uh, that is not something which is going to lie in his head because he himself is a 
pretty experienced bowler uh, he has gone through these phases in the past too and he would definitely definitely um, you know get over it and then they have another good spinner abdul rahman who could also who, who has very good knowledge now because it, it's also that abdul rahman has played a uh, taken a lot of wickets on the english county scene so he also has good knowledge and uh, as i said spinners definitely come into the picture when the pitch is going to dry up in england and that that would be the key uh, that would be something very important uh, to uh, just keep in mind and also shafiq is another um, player who would be keenly watched because he's a very very talented bloke as far as uh, batting is concerned and ashish shafiq has some very good strokes in his uh, armory and uh, you know he's is a pretty aggressive player uh, in the mold of umran um, umar akmal who is missing uh, in this particular team so all in all it looks like uh, this pakistani outfit is looking um, you know raring to go looks like raring to go as i said uh, the first thing that i would like to talk about is the coach dave watmore uh, he would play a great great role uh, one one would really uh, you know remember that dave watmore was the one who transformed the sri lankan team into a winning outfit and they went on to win the world cup one would pre pretty remember that that dave watmore was the coach at that particular time when actually uh, you know so sri lanka went on went on for greater things so that is always there so i feel that you know pakistan already a very good team so basically dave watmore is only what he has to do is only mold it and i'm sure uh, he brings in all his experience and i'm sure he's going to mold this unit and is uh, and i'm sure he is also going to see to it that no unpredictability exists as far as because always when uh, pa when pakistan team is uh, talked about in major tournaments uh, it's all an air of unpredictability but i'm sure this time that air of unpredictability uh, might not be there as i said i think dave watmore plays a lot, big role here uh, and then um, uh, the, the team looks uh, pretty organized uh, they have lots of youngsters no doubt about it but uh, i i would have reckoned that umar gul if he had been on the team that experience would have done them a great deal of good because uh, uh, umar gul operating in tandem with junaid khan uh, would have definitely definitely helped uh, but now wahab riaz well he definitely has knowledge of english conditions and one more thing that i wanted to uh, i really really uh, didn't dwell upon is wahab riaz batting wahab riaz is uh, is playing as an all rounder so he also brings his batting into the fore and uh, one can depend on him to probably score 30 40 runs uh, at the end stages uh, the match is not over because wahab riaz as long as he is there uh, he can really play some big strokes so that is also something that one has to keep in mind uh, i so as i feel uh, the batting and the bowling is looking strong uh, and uh, you know pakistan have to put up some a very good fielding effort the fielding has to be absolutely top class they can't afford to drop catches and if things are going according to what uh, i mean as if if you look up to look uh, look at pakistan on paper they are looking pretty strong according to me because the batting is looking good uh, the bowling as i said wahab riaz is the only uh, for me is a not a question mark is a real factor because he has to uh, really operate in tandem with junaid khan because he is the only major other strike bowler other than uh, junaid khan yes asad ali has been bowling well but asad ali uh, is again an inexperienced player so it is very early to expect anything out of it so the bowling according to me batting is uh, really stacked up they have some good batsmen they are batsmen who can stabilize the order they have aggressive blokes at the uh, top of the batting order but what is required is a sort of uh, the bowling according to me uh, i'm not so sure about wahab riaz being a prime strike bowler but junaid khan absolutely as i said he's the prime strike bowler for pakistan but uh, whether mohammed irfan would be given an opportunity the mohammed irfan again it is going to be uh, i'm sure even mohammed irfan is going to be with the team then wahab riaz is the one who's going to be sharing the new ball unless and until uh, mohammed irfan uh, would be given an opportunity Uh, I, I would, I would tend to agree uh, that you know, in South African wickets, well, Mohammed Irfan made his debut. It was impressive. Uh, on bouncy wickets, one can understand that Mohammed Irfan was given the red cherry. But uh, one would be prompted to think because of Wahab Riaz having some pace and some good swing bowling, uh, and that one English conditions. I would uh, definitely like to see Wahab Riaz and uh, Junaid Khan operating in tandem, and Mohammed Irfan coming in as a first change bowler. well uh, well this is uh, my take as far as pakistan is concerned but they definitely definitely have 
all the goods there to deliver but as i said if they can just you know just you know uh, wipe off that air of unpredictability that they have which they should according to me i think they would be real contenders here and what a match that is going to be uh, the india pakistan match which was sold out when the icc champions trophy tickets were ready uh, if if dear friends and subscribers you don't know about it these tickets were sold out in 30 minutes flat india versus pakistan so that's a great game that's one of those real attritional games that one waits to see india and pakistan and well uh, uh, pakistan well so as i said that, that is what my my opinion is and i think they have a good chance uh, but it's all like you know everything has to come together the puzzle uh, has to be uh, really solved for pakistan as far as unpredictability is concerned well if they do that then i don't see any reason why uh, pakistan uh, should not be uh, good contenders uh, for the icc champions trophy well dear fans friends and subscribers uh, on this note i am uh, ending up my preview of pakistan hope you all liked it uh, i will uh, now uh, now the only one preview which is left the last team which is coming up is going to be the calypso charmers the west indies which i am going to talk about so that is the last preview and that will end my cricket happening show so just uh, keep an eye and be patient your host ram will be there uh, as i have done uh, till to, uh, till now so just be there and i'll be there thank you